Hello and welcome to part 6 of the Tacket Tutorial. Today we're going to be learning how to make windmills, upgrade our crafting table and make a mass fabricator. Now you'll see if you've been watching the series so far I'm actually starting at the end here because I forgot that I needed a windmill so I did it to the end. And I apologise in advance if you can hear any like fan noise in the background but it is very warm where I am at the moment. Without the fan I cannot play anything. So let's jump straight in there. Let's start with the windmill. Now the windmill is a generator and four iron ingots. Super simple. Um, oh, you just you haven't seen any any of this, any of these. You haven't seen them at all. Nothing there. And to upgrade our crafting table, you'll need a normal crafting table and a book. So the, now you'll see with the oh, I lost it already. Brilliant. You'll see with the crafting table, let's get rid of this one, oh, actually I'll just create another one. That's a little door in the front of it when you get close to it, and you go inside. If you have anything that you can make things with, like if I had some wood, like a stack of wood, uh, it doesn't appear to be working at all. Oh, there we go, there we go. Uh, sometimes if it's not working, you have to w wiggle the scroll thing, and it'll show up. But as you can see, it shows you all the recipes you can get, and even the components. Like, I have no sticks, but it knows I can make sticks, so it tells me I can make a wooden gear. Right, so on to the hard bit now. Now, to make a mass fabricator, we need loads of stuff. So, to start off with, you need a metal ingot. And some advanced alloy. Then to make a metal ingot, you can put some refined iron, some bronze, which is made from bronze dust, which is some copper dust and some tin dust and some tin and this will turn into a mixed metal ingot and then you whack this in the compressor and you'll get some advanced alloys now these are important you'll be losing these loads right now the next thing we'll need some raw carbon fibers now this is just four coal dust in, the, in a square and you get coal dust by macerating coal next we turn this these raw carbon fibers into some raw carbon mesh just by two and two next to each other and then we compress it into a carbon plate. Well, using the advanced alloys and the carbon plates and a machine block we make an advanced machine block. Now I know you're thinking is there such a thing? It's just a machine isn't it really? But you know you, you need them. And next we'll need some advanced circuits. More advanced than normal circuits as it requires some redstone some glowstone and some lapis. So if you, if you haven't found any yet, go and get some, because it'll be important. Now to make the energy store for the mass fabricator, you'll need an energy crystal, which is a diamond surrounded by redstone. Now you can charge these up, these are a bit like batteries. You can put them in things like your generators and they will charge up. And then you can spend them elsewhere so you don't have to have pipes and wires going everywhere. But you can upgrade it to a Lapitron crystal with a bit more lapis and two electronic circuits. Now a Lapitron crystal is the highest it'll go. It holds, I think it's 200,000 charge, but don't quote me on that. And from here, we've got everything we need to make the mass fabricator. Now the mass fabricator, you need some glowstone, and the two advanced circuits you made, and the two advanced machine blocks, and the Lapitron crystal. And boom, there you go. Mass fabricator away. Right, so I'm going to quickly head over and show you my wind powered station. Just head over here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. And I'm not in creative, which isn't very helpful. As I don't really want to be building ladders and things. I just want to. You want pipes as high as up as you can be bothered to build. And you just stick these wind turbines on here, like so. Like this. And this will generate you all the power in the world. Not all the power. Some, some of the power. And one up there, and then... Oh! Bit of an FPS drop there. Still a bit of an FPS drop. Wow, this is laggy. And when I can get to it, one there. And now if we come down here, you'll see I've got my solar panels, a room full of them set up, if you'll excuse me a second. 
Right, well, I have no idea what that was. I think it's to do with these windmills. They have a tendency to cause a bit of lag in your world. What I did there to fix that was just quickly close and open it again, and everything's fine. So now I've got this handy wire, just ready. Whack your mass fabricator down. Yeah. And now you sit and wait. Now all your power. Now if, if I come over here and look at my power, it'll be draining from this top left one first. As you see, Oh no, there's it being drained. It's being drained from that one first, weirdly. Which is, that is weird. Interesting. But look how much power it's using. This is with solar panels, wind turbines. Look at it drain. And it needs to get 100% to create this. Now you, you may want to not have this on all the time. And it is very loud. And it's still very loud. Okay, maybe we can't do anything about that. But as you can see, 13%. Now, next episode I'll show you how to speed this up, because you will need it to be sped up. And that's basically entails creating a recycler. So you put, instead of putting it all, all your junk in the, the, the energy condenser, I can think of the name for it, you can turn it into scrap. Now look at this. Draining like crazy. I don't know what this button does. Nothing. Okay. All right. So just leave that. Look at but look. I mean, I'm I'm just glad I've got all these full. Oh, that's not full. That's draining. That's empty. Don't want another one. God. Wow. It is draining like crazy. So I'll get back to you when it's at 100% and show you the creation. And welcome back, we're at 98%. Taking absolutely forever. 99! I've been sat here for maybe five minutes. This isn't a lot, a small process. And there we have it, 100%. And we get some UU matter. Now this stuff is amazing. But just, just to show you, that was empty, empty, empty. Empty, 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 trying to be empty, nearly empty. So as you can see, it drains the hell out of your power. But this UU matter is pretty much matter that can be used for anything. As you can see here, it thinks that I have I have some cobblestone from somewhere. Now, let's see if I can find the stone. See? In, on the left-hand side, you see the you see the things changing. Like this, this trapdoor needs three, uh, three, six wooden planks, and this stone ball needs three. This block here of stone is one UU matter. Now there are hundreds of these recipes that you can use. Uh, oh, there we go. Let's see if I can find it. No, nope, won't won't show me at all. Um, but there are hundreds of them, and you can make many things with them, but one thing we want to be making is you want to be saving these up, just letting it work away in the background, and we want to be making some iridium ore, which is made... Well, oh, I've, I appear to have a... Uh, and as you can see here, um, I'll be showing you next time, but basically, if I just get some more UU matter, just get a stack of it, you'll be making... Oh, Let's make some room. You'll be making an eye shape like so. And that will get you one block of iridium ore. Boom! And from there we can start to make our techno armor. And just roll around mashing up the monsters. Because they won't know what hit them. So I hope you found this useful. And I will catch you next time guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you've enjoyed it. See you later guys.